welcome to this week's DNA video. We have some very exciting news to announce with this video as we have made a groundbreaking discovery at the DNA office. All humans carry traces of other humanoid species as our ancestors have mated with them at some point in history. For example, the average human contains around 2-4% to of Neanderthal DNA. And some of the people of East Asia and Australasia also carry small amounts of the DNA of the Denisovans, a humanoid species whose DNA was recently sequenced from part of a finger bone found in a Siberian cave. We believe we have identified a third humanoid species. We believe this may have inhabited the highlands of Scotland at some point in the past and perhaps still does. Traces of what researchers have dubbed Anthropos caledonicus has been found in the DNA of Dr John Farkson Barnes. He is a descendant of Scottish settlers who migrated to East Tennessee in the USA. Dr Barnes' ancestors had lived around the Cairngorm region and after discovering his DNA we decided to test a few more men in the region. Most of the men's DNA had turned out to be very normal, however six did not. These six men also carried the DNA of Anthropos caledonicus and also appeared to be distantly related to Dr Barnes. Researchers also began to hear stories of the old grey man of Ben McDewey. At first these were dismissed as folk tales, but further research revealed a series of reliable sightings of a large figure in the mountains. In 1925, Professor Norman Colley revealed that he had been followed by a giant humanoid figure. The grey man was seen by other mountaineers and in 1943, Alexander Tunian was so frightened that he took his revolver and shot at the big figure. We had Dr Barnes in the studio earlier today and asked him to comment on the story. Well, I come from a particular region in East Tennessee called the Southern Appalachian Mountains. And the people there have always been kind of a little bit different than the rest of the people in the state. And we've all, uh, you know, you always hear these outlandish claims of ancestry to this and that and that. So I said, well, I'll have mine tested. So that's when I got a hold of Scotland's DNA to see if they could test my ancestry. Um, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's it's nice to, you know, kind of have a answer to that chapter, you know, that I might be a, a living link to the living Bigfoot, you know, that's really cool. Personally, being from East Tennessee, it's not too surprising, but it was really, really neat to know that I might have some cousins and other cousin brothers roaming around the highlands and stuff like that. Nice to be different, you know. I've often thought that the people of East Tennessee were unique. So now I hope that, you know, maybe there's some more people back there that share my same genetic heritage. So are these sightings and the DNA of Dr. Barnes and the other six men from the Cairngorms region linked? Only time will tell. Thanks very much and tune in next week.